Uh, I can't recommend this highly enough. Uh, I love this thing. I used the extension and uh, for years and uh, I'm very happy that this is now in the box. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite new features that we are putting into Visual Studio. This one started its life as a, an extension. It's now coming into Visual Studio. Let me demonstrate that. So let's say I wanna add a file to my project. You know, I can right click, go down to add a new item and that gives me this dialogue. But what if I go in to tools options here and um, click preview feature flag here. And what I wanna search for is enable quick add. So now when I right click and say add new item or click control shift A, it's the same thing. I get this little dialogue up instead. So I can still click on this link that's shown as well that says show all templates, which gives me that experience that I'm used to. But I wanna get the simplified view we call it the quick add dialog. And so in here, I can just type a, a file name. So uh, name.cs, and that's what it does. It just gives me the internal class. And, and this actually respects if I have, uh, how, I, how my namespace rules are in my editor config or in my settings, and it will do the right thing. It uses the, the templates behind the scenes, but it's, it's a little bit more clever than that. So contr control shift A again for add new item to bring it back up. Let's type something a little bit more interesting. Let's, what if we create two files? What if I create, create a client.cs and iClient.cs? I just comma separate them and I now have those two files. But check this out, iClient is an interface, whereas client is a class. So the quick add method uh, or dialog is able to understand that iClient, that naming pattern, should match an interface template and then give me that. But I can also create, create folders. So I'm gonna create a folder here called folder and you can name it whatever you want and just end it with a forward slash. Hit enter and now you have an empty folder. I could also have gone in and said, okay, what if I do some subdirectories here and then end with file.css. So I can create subfolders, I can create files in those folders. And again, I can comma separate these to create multiples. This is in the preview behind a feature flag. So you saw how I went into tools options under preview features and enabled this feature.